So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Moon through Ascendant series of the week. And today we're going to be covering Moon in the 10th house in the sign of Scorpio for Aquarius Ascendant people. As in what happens when Moon is sitting in your 10th house in Scorpio while it rules the 6th house with the sign of Cancer. And as always, if you do not know if you have this particular placement, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all the other logical details, for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, consultations, and link to my academy, Magha Vedic Astrology Academy, where you'll find all my courses, including my pre-order for the book, Nakshatra is at the Speed of Light, the digital version, and obviously the paperback and digital. So naturally what this, you know, So naturally, you know, what this person will do that, especially when it comes to their work environment, when it comes to their uh, career, their professional accolades, they're in, uh, the type of person who always takes things very intensely. Like for them, when a work is given, okay, they all they, all they want to do is focus on that work and if it requires to destroy things around them they will do that if it requires to fight and cut things off cut people off they will do that and regardless of the work this person will enjoy work where they can investigate things research into things deal with the hidden you know um intensity of work Work that is extremely intense requires precise, like precision, focus, and thinking. This is the type of work this person will enjoy. Because you gotta uh, understand, Moon controls the sixth house of work, of daily routines. Okay, and it's an Artha house. So Artha Lord goes into the Artha house, which is the 10th house. So for them, their psychological well being will come through work will come through taking an intense you know um intense interest in what they're doing they're not taking any work lightly and this is why they will only choose work which are very peculiar to them they will not just take on any work they'd rather be unemployed than take work and usually usually you will see that such an individual will even play like mind games with their bosses and authorities they're going to be the one kind of have the ability to control their authorities but also on the other hand they only want to deal with work where they have enemies like you know some people most people i would say want a peaceful happy work environment for them, until they know I have enemies, I have rivals, you know, I have a competition here. I'm not going to feel psychologically balanced. So this moon becomes extremely intense. Actually, their energy rises when they know, okay, I have a competition and this person doesn't like me. This person trying to get rid of me. And these people become excellent at like forensic accounting excellent you know at dealing with like managing wealth hidden wealth now again with this moon you'll find any and every career from a plumber to author to an actor to a lawyer to an IT professional but see the foundation will remain the same for example if this is a person who is an actor they're gonna want to take movie roles that are dealing with like being a hitman being in a mafia, dealing with paranormal things, dealing with, you know, like intense psychological characters, like, for example, you can say Shah Rukh Khan in Bazigar, you know, or uh, movie roles like, uh, uh, what do you call that? Michael Douglas movie, Fatal Attraction. These type of roles they will do. If it's a lawyer, they will love being in criminal law. They want to deal with the absolute hard bottom of everything and one thing you will also see with this particular moon home life 
it's just it's hard to kind of balance out work and home life home life will never f find that balance like unless the work is here and home life is here um things are not gonna happen for them you know most people are looking for this not only they're just looking for this but this is the point where they actually will find the success and whatever that they're looking for in their workspace okay so anyway, guys, this was my analysis of Moon in the 10th house for Aquarius Ascendant people. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss these type of videos. And if you want to know where your moon is placed, all your astrological details for that, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.